So that should work now. So let's see if that works. Nice. Look at that. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is games for kicks and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today we're going to do a little bit more building and maybe a little bit of looting in the end because there's still a few shops which have respawned things, especially over there. But we're not going to find an auger probably anyway, so I don't want to put too much emphasis on finding an auger. But it would be cool if we find one. But, 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 but what I just noticed is when we actually want to get out with our bike, we can't get out. I just noticed that, because since we finished our spikes, we can't get in and out, because if we drive over the spikes, we, we hurt ourselves and we're gonna die. So, excuse me. Oh, too much fizzy drink. Um, too much bubble water. What we're gonna do is, you see the way down here, I forgot to bring my, my blocks, because I need to mark some blocks out. Down here, we dug underneath, yeah? And this obviously like is where we're gonna go and the, the bike can go in there. Absolutely. The bike can go absolutely in there if we wanted to. Yeah. So that kind of got me thinking something I saw in one of C Nation's videos and I was kind of thinking, you know, that would be pretty cool if you could do that to get the bike in and out of the base very easily and protect it and nobody can actually get in. And I'm gonna actually see if I can at least get started on this today. So let's get a couple of resources what do we need we need definitely we need some wood frames and we need some blocks these guys the concrete pillars and we might need rebar frames i'm not sure so we better take them with us we're gonna take oh i only have a little bit of concrete mix actually left so we're gonna have to make some more Let's see if we have the required stone one. Yeah, I suppose. And we have some sand here as well. So let's see if we can make some concrete mix, unless I have some here and already no. So how much can we make? 1,500. It's because of our stone, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so just let me get a little bit of stone and actually, do you know what? 1,000 is enough. 1,000. Is gonna be enough there you go so while this is going on oh whoops I take a little bit of stone with us just in case we need something I don't think we will but I always like to have these type of things on me in case I have to make a worst case scenario you have to make a stone axe and it always helps you out Anyway, so the idea is, I don't, I don't want to really spoil it too much, but you guys who watch C Nation, which I hope you do, if you don't watch C Nation, go check out his channel. I have him linked on my main channel page so that you guys uh, can enjoy some good quality building. It's unmeasurable. <laughs> or un whatever way you say it. It's very, very good. He's very good. So I think we're here on that side. And this is our first lane here so this is our this is the this is the first and this is the second so the first one is here and the second one is beside it. okay okay so this one is here and this one is here fair enough so i just want to get it laid out so i know where it is here and here because we want to measure that exactly so if we're here Okay, so now I don't know how far back we're gonna have to go. So this is the two the two lanes that are coming from there. I think in total it's gonna be four wide, but we're gonna make it a little bit wider here, and it can get narrower. Then that's fine, absolutely fine. I'm not really too worried about it. So let me just actually quickly check if I go underground how wide this is gonna be. I think it's gonna be four wide, but I don't want to mess it up then with the measuring. So let's just go over here and have a little look. Is it three or four? It's actually just the two, and then we have the... Okay, so, fair enough. I think that would be good enough. To have the bike in here would be good. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that would be okay. I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, are we too close to here, though, to dig through? I don't th I think we are doing okay. If we dig through here, we should be fine. 
So let me just take this away. So we would continue digging through here. And literally the same height. Now, down here we are... This is the lower part of the tower, I think. So we're gonna have to be careful because... Well, we're gonna take out the concrete anyway because we want to make... Sorry, the asphalt anyway because we want to make that concrete uh, the, the, the ground. So the asphalt is gonna have to come out. So I'm not really too worried if we're gonna destroy the floor or the ground. Actually, wood. It's gonna be wood underneath. Yeah, I think it's gonna be wood uh, because I made everything else wood, I think, uh, around the towers. So, what it's gonna be. Okay, so I'm not gonna dig all the way through. I just wanna get a little bit in, preferably under the tower. Am I under the tower? Yes, I'm nearly, I'm nearly in the middle. So let's just go exactly in the middle of the tower. And that way we can dig a little bit in from down under the tower, uh, from above the tower and see actually if that, we, I think we're gonna peek through. Absolutely, we're gonna peek through. That's definitely gonna be a thing. And um, you might be wondering why I'm gonna build an entrance. The zombies are gonna get in, they're not. Because that is the good thing. Zombies cannot get through these pillars, but we can. Now, mind you, in Alpha 15, I don't know if this is still going to be possible, because we all know uh, the fun pimps do like to make certain things in the game easy for us. Uh, maybe not intentionally, but they don't mind not fixing them as quickly. But as soon as we're having too much fun, the books get fixed. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm not giving out. I think it's great if they fix these books, but because it always gets out in of minds because they fix something we kind of abuse and then people are like, oh, we can't do this anymore. This sucks. And then all of a sudden some smart person comes along and goes, well, you can just do this. <laughs> and anyway, we are exactly in the middle. That's good. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the entrance probably four white then on the other side. I could dig through from here, but I don't really want to because I don't know exactly where I'm going to come out. I find it easier to know where I'm going to come out. And we also have to make an entrance actually from in here, which means I'm going to probably have to convert this entrance into an entrance for the bike. But that will be easy enough as well. So I'm not going to be too worried because most of it is wood and wood is easily destroyed. So I like that. So let's go through here. Oh, the light is very bright. It's nice. And this is inside the base, which we're going to make wood, but we are going to be down here. So I'm going to go approximately, I'd say about here, maybe. Well, you know what? It doesn't really matter if we go right here because anything to do with the anything to do with the entrance of our butt cave like entrance will be um will be covered with concrete anyway and we're gonna make it four white but i'm not sure if i want to go four white yet so let's just we probably will be from here we'll see we'll see so let's take one more out maybe two just to be on the safe side Because we know we're going to have to dig underneath the spikes um, anyway to repair them. So let's dig down here. Yeah, but that's concrete. Okay, that's... Okay, fair enough. So we're going to have to go a little bit more, a little bit back. go so we have to kind of make it like a ramp so you can see already we we need to go further out but we'll see so let's go underneath here and let's go a little bit more down and this is the tool we're gonna have to keep digging at so don't go any further left or right this is the tool we're gonna have to stay at and eventually we're gonna meet up with our tunnel there we go i think that is gonna be deep enough make it one more underneath here yeah now we can get underneath here very good so I think I didn't use originally I didn't use the half slabs so these spikes we can't actually repair from underneath so just imagine you would have the half slabs underneath here 
instead because that's sadly I originally when I started building this was the first tower I think I built and when I did that I didn't really think about how we are going to um, fix that how we're going to repair the spikes I didn't know about it until I saw uh, saw it in Kran Spartan's video um, that he's doing that and I was like whoa I'm gonna have to try this and look at that there's our base and oh the ground is a bit too high okay so we're gonna put some of the dirt back because we want to keep it level we want to keep it the same there we go nice okay this is awesome look at this this is really nice I love this I love when you build these things you know and you, you get like a structure together and it's like it's it's like when you play these games like Dishonored and you have all these different tunnels, you know, like and all that, and except you're creating it. It's really, really cool. So let's put that back. And how are we gonna get out? Okay, we're gonna make this like um we're gonna make a little room here. Only a little one, there's not gonna be anything in it, it's just gonna be like a, a staging area, whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna go up from here. So you're gonna take these two out. There we go. And we need one more, I think, to go out here. Nice. So this should be now pretty... Yeah, there we go. Now this is like a nice slope. And we have to go one more down. And then the slope is coming out exactly. Sweet. Nice. I like it. So this is a perfect slope into this. Now we're going to make this a little bit wider um, underground. So once you get in, when you, when you build these uh, pillars and you put them in, be, two blocks is actually perfect. Because you're building it... Um, Will we build it here? I think we build it. No, let's build it ground level. Let's let's do them here. So, imagine this block going here. There we go. And this one going here. Now they are connected here to the road, so they're not gonna fall. I think this might be enough, actually. So can we? Ah, yeah, what the hell. Let's make it another one. Let's make it a little longer. Yeah. Excellent. And then we're going to do one more. Just because, why not? We gotta make it one wide, one more wider, because I like kind of have a little bit of room when we get down with the bike. I kind of like to think like, okay, we're gonna, we can store the bike there, and uh, having it in a too wide corridor uh, might might look very cramped. I don't know, I'm not sure, but definitely on the top, I want to have more light coming in. So we're definitely gonna make this four wide here. There we go, nice. And then all around here, we're gonna put concrete then proper. So um, we're gonna put a proper concrete. Um, there we go. Come on. One, two, three, four, oh. four, five, six, seven. And we have another seven left. Excellent. So this was exactly perfectly counted. And the good thing about this design is with your bike, you can still str drive through the, through the pillars because that's, that's the way the bike works in the moment. But the zombies won't be getting in there. And they're not really gonna uh, have a means of ha well they can hammer all they want into it because we're gonna upgrade that with concrete and then we're gonna upgrade that with steel so they can hammer away what do you say till the heart's content whatever it doesn't it won't make a difference absolutely not there we go ah oh, lovely and we can't obviously fall through. The zombies won't be able to fall through. And once this, anything around here will be updated fully to steel. Um, even these blocks here, end of story. Because um, 
Underneath, I might start digging it up um, just so I can repair the spikes. L literally underneath this here, I'm not sure. We'll see because I would have to dig. Oh, I would have to dig all of them up here, and I would have to dig up all of them. Oh, it's a lot of effort. Uh, when I get an auger, I will do that. Until then, I won't. So anything that's already has a full concrete block underneath, it's not gonna happen. So I'm going to just go around here, um, update that. Upgrade this, then get some steel. I have like what? I have like a thousand steel or something like. And oh, did I use them on something? I actually don't know. I have at least a couple of hundred like in my forge that I'm still making. And then we're gonna put some rebar frames down. We're gonna get some concrete mix, and I think I have enough concrete mix anyway to get all this uh, upgraded. So I'm gonna get the resources, uh, and then we're going to continue. <laughs> This could have gone better. Um, yeah, we kind of got stuck with our bike a little bit, as you could see, uh, just in the in the time lapse. That um, I tried to be really fancy and all that, but it looks like we got stuck. So let's just leave the light on on this for a second. Excellent. Leave the light on, and no, we don't actually need the light on. No, we don't. So the problem is that as we get up here we need something to get up on so it looks like we actually yeah that's what i would taught we have a problem that i made this a little bit too long i kind accidentally put yeah okay so what we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to yeah let's just use these guys here for a moment so there you go this is gonna be the ramp that's gonna go down so I'm just gonna use this as a placeholder because it's gonna be probably ah yeah well let's make it concrete we have we, it's we have enough concrete it's fine so I'm gonna put this here and then let it come down there we go into here excellent nice and then down here we're gonna make it a little bit wider there we go. I actually found my steel. It was in the chest with all the trees. I put it there in the last episode when we needed to make some room. Or was it in the episode before that? I don't remember. I think it was at the Horde Night episode. I'm not really 100% sure. I don't remember much. So this is going to be our entrance here. And it's going to be wide enough to put um, four of those guys in. So I just want to get at least the front done. So we know what it's going to look like. And then the wall here will probably be all concrete as well. Just so we have a little staging area where we can come down. Because turning the bike in a 2x2 two two area is a pain in the ass. And I don't want to drive all the way down just to turn it. So having a little bit of an area here that you can actually use to turn is going to be very good. Okay, so this actually was not supposed to be filled out. So this was supposed to stay. There you go. And then this is going to be nice. Oh, that's beautiful. I like it. Oh, I think this one is already set up. So let me just see. Yeah, one, two, three, and down here. Excellent. And that should give us enough boost to get back out. So that should work now. So let's see if that works. Nice. Look at that. And then we come home from a hard day's work. 
We're coming down here. Now, we might have to go very slowly down here. But there we go. Nice. Excellent. And you know what I mean when I'm saying turning is going to be a pain in the ass. You can see here, this to and fro is going to be what you're going to have to do to get back out. And to do that in a too wide area is not going to be very handy. So this is much nicer. There we go. Excellent. That is sweet. I really like that. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. We're going to leave the bike actually down here. Let's just upgrade all these guys. And I do have to also fix. I think the, yeah, excellent. Let's do that. Oh, this is still wet. This is still drying. Excellent stuff. We can. There we go. We can upgrade that. Because they're going to be hammered on by zombies uh, or dogs that are gonna dig into them so we're gonna have to be careful so let's upgrade that i don't think i have enough wood that's gonna be a pain in the booty yeah i knew that i was going to run out of wood there we go let's upgrade this but it's okay because where we exit everything is trees there we go nice man that's such a waste of steel but i think it needs to be done Excellent. Just this area here is safe. Nice. I like it. So look at this. So we have our tunnel going out here. This is so sweet. And we don't even need... We, we're not going to have an extra ed exit over there for us to go in and out by foot. Because, well, maybe. We'll see. Maybe we're going to put one of those hatches kind of... A yeah, a little bit like a little sneaky side way of the, of the room where we get in with the bike. We can put... Um, actually, you know what? It's gonna be one of you guys gave me that idea in one of the comments over there in this house This is where we're gonna build the hatch to come out So this will be purely for the bike, but look at that. It's looking fantastic. Oh Man, this is looking nice. I like it Anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here because I could go on forever. Thank you so much for watching I hope you like this as well Let me know in the comments below what you think and any ideas you might have or what you have done in your world A lot of you are asking me if you can share screenshots. Yes, if you post screenshots to your image uh, to image your or whatever it's called IMG your you are L or uh, just to your steam account you know you can link it in the comments uh, it will be flagged as spam but I will accept them so don't worry about that so um, anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope I see you guys in the next episode and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and I see you guys next time until then as always feel spaß and happy gaming Oh, you're only a little tiny tree. Okay, so that, yeah, that's enough wood. I want to finish this. Excellent. Okay, beautiful. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is so exciting. Let's finish it. Come on, 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 come on. Why are you not running faster? I need you to run faster. You're not fast enough for me. Oh yes, now we're talking, now we oh man, now we're in business. Like a boss, yeah, nice, I like it, ha ha ha.